tax season is upon us and I wanted to talk about one of the biggest mistakes I see self-employed people make when setting and saving for their real estate goals. Anyone who is self-employed is trying to figure out how they can lower their tax bill as much as possible. But if you are planning to buy real estate in the next few years, it is imperative that you start paying yourself a wage and start showing that you're paying your taxes and keeping that all in line if you want to borrow money and here is why. If you are purchasing a property in your own name, the bank doesn't care how much your company makes. They care about how much you are making as an income. And I have seen it before where we're dealing with millionaire farmers who just want to co-sign for their kids and they can't because they don't take a wage from their company and they're buying everything with cash. So I know it sounds counterintuitive, but it's important to have some lending history in your personal name so that you can get approved for a mortgage. So my advice to you, if you plan to buy real estate in 2023, is talk to your accountant and talk to your mortgage broker and figure out what amounts make sense, how much money to put away for taxes, and how much money to take out as a wage so that when you find that perfect home, everything aligns and you get mortgage approval.